welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, we are going glam. We're going to do the full coverage, glitter on the eyes, a vampy lip, um, also a nude lip. But I wanted to quickly make a video for New Year's Eve, so that explains the glitter. So if you want to see how I achieved this look, then please keep on watching. Okay, so we're gonna start off using this palette. This is the Morphe 35OM palette. Um, and I'm going to start off with this shade here. I don't want to use too much of the orange shades because I always do that. So we're not gonna do that today. I'm starting off with this one. Uh, then I'm going to use that one and the rest I don't know yet. And I'm taking my Sigma E40 brush. As usual. And with the same brush I am taking that other color which actually looks the same only the other one is a bit more dark. Still pretty warm. And then for my lower crease I am going to use this shade right here which is a nice chocolate brown shade and that's actually it. And I'm going to use the MAC 217 brush to do so. I don't know what it is. I have this habit of raising my eyebrows. And when I do that and I apply my makeup, it looks like my eyebrows are almost until my hairline. But they're not. But still, it's a habit. Just place my mirror a bit more close because um, I couldn't see. Taking that E40 brush again and blending all the colors together. And while I'm looking at my eyeshadow, I realized that I wanted to be a little bit more dark. So I am going in with, I think the shade. I never go so dark, but you know, and I'm going to use a smaller blending brush to do so, and this is the MAC 221. And I really wanted to have this shade like right into my lower crease. Like so. I'm not taking it all the way in because I want to have glitter there, so just a little bit. Don't worry about the eyeshadow being all the way up to here and on this side I don't have that. I'm gonna fix that with concealer. That's the reason why I never do my concealer and foundation before I do my eyeshadow. I actually never do that even when I'm just wearing like mascara or eyeliner. Eyes first and then face. I try to do that but you know I just mess it up so. Then I'm taking that MAC 227 brush again and I'm going to use this shade on the outer part of my eyelid and I'm going to pat on this shade right here just on the outer part this actually looks pretty ugly right now but let's hope it will all come together I do think so because I have something in mind but you know you'll never know if it's gonna work out the way you have it in mind so we're just gonna hope for the best Okay, so for my eyelid, I am going to use this shade right here. And I know she has singles and she also sells this one. The shade is called Pink Champagne. And um, I am going to use the MAC 242 brush. This eyeshadow is pretty glittery and I don't want it to be everywhere. So I'm going to wet my brush and I'm using this Glam Glow Glow Setter Makeup Setting Spray to do so. And I'm just patting this color on my eyelid. I'm the type of girl that doesn't like glitter in my crease, but for today's look, we are going to do that. So you don't have to be precise. Just slap it on. Actually, it doesn't matter. Just, you know. Okay, and because it's New Year's Eve and I like to shine, not only on New Year's Eve, like every day. I'm going to use this new product by Essence. It's pretty cheap. I bought it for, I don't know, two euros. And it's called the Metal Shock Eyeshadow. And this is in the shade... I have no idea. There's number two on it. I don't know, I'll figure it out and then I will link it down below. Maybe it's Stars and Stories. 
This is like a liquid eyeshadow formula. And I'm just patting the shade onto my eyelids. I am going to blend it out using this Sigma uh, E47 brush and I'm bringing it a little bit more upward. I actually like this product and it's so cheap. I love cheap, good products. And because I am who I am, I wanted to add a little bit more glitters and I'm using the MAC Reflex Glitter. Um, and I am going to use a little bit of the Mixing Medium, just a tiny amount because if you use too much, the glitter is going to be very opaque and that's not the look I'm going for. So just a tiny amount, just enough so that the glitter will stick, but not too opaque. I'm gonna zoom you guys in a little bit more. Yeah, that's better. Then I'm going back in with the 227 brush and this brown shade here, just to blend the glitter with my matte eyeshadow and I am patting it on the other part. Cause you don't wanna have like this glitter line. That's, that's not for you. And you know what? I am not going to use eyeliner today. I'm going straight in with lashes and I'm going to use uh, the Huda Beauty Raquel Mink Lashes. So I'm quickly gonna do my eyelashes off camera and then we're going to move on to the face. Okay, so my lashes are on and it's time to prime the face and like on the sides of my nose, my entire nose, I'm going to prime using the Benefit Professional just to hide my pores. Otherwise, I will be highlighting my pores. Like I always say, I just, on this area, a little bit on the forehead and on my chin. And for the rest of my face, I am using this Glam Glow. It's actually a finishing spray, but, or makeup setting spray, but I like to use it as a primer. It gets a little bit tacky, so love that. And for foundation, I'm using the Too Faced Born This Way, and this one is almost empty, but you know, I just wanna get everything out of it because it's, a, not a cheap foundation. So taking a Q-tip, I just took off the cap. I, I think I broke it, but that's fine because if it's finished, I'm gonna throw it away anyway. So who cares, you know? There's still product in it and we're gonna use that. I'm gonna use a beauty blender to blend it all in. I don't know if the foundation is enough to cover everything, but we'll figure it out. I don't know if this is too dark, but it doesn't matter. I'm going in with highlighter and a lighter concealer, so no worries. And for concealer, an oldie but a goodie, the MAC Pro Longwear. And I'm using this shade NC35. And I am going to use a lot. I think this is like three pumps because we gotta get our glam on. And to highlight, I'm going to use the MAC Prep and Prime highlighter in the shade Light Boost. I'm gonna go heavy, guys. Okay, and before I'm going to do anything else, I'm quickly going to set my under eyes. Not my entire under eye area, but just where the little wrinkles are. And I'm using the Laura Mercier translucent powder and this new favorite MAC brush, the 240S. Just around here. I'm gonna let my nose contour sit because lately I've been struggling with contouring my nose and I found a method that works for me. So I'm gonna let it sit and I'm going to blend out later. Moving on to highlight, I'm going to use this iconic illuminator and I'm using like four drops, yeah. And then I'm gonna, let's add a little bit more. That's what I'm talking about. I love that wet 
highlighter look. And of course I am going to set my highlight using a powder highlight, but before I do that I am going to contour my face using this Fenty Beauty matchstick in the shade Travel. And whenever I use a um, liquid illuminator I always let it sit for about a minute before I go into um, powder highlight because sometimes it can get you know a little bit messy and when you let it dry let it sit it's easier to apply the powder highlight and it just looks more pretty and of course I'm going over it with my beauty blender just to blend it out a little bit more and now I am going to blend out my nose do you see I'm not going to do um, anything like contouring my nose it's more like highlighting my nose. I know not the tip of my nose. I don't like that. But you all know that. Okay, and for powder highlight, I'm going to use Gilded Honey by Laura Geller. And I'm using this Morphe M501 brush. And I'm taking a tiny amount. Who am I kidding? And I'm going to place that on top of my liquid highlighter. Whenever I use liquid highlighter, I don't like to go like back and forward. I just like to pat on to the liquid highlighter. It blends it out better. And of course we need to set the rest of my face because um, normally I will be sweating on New Year's Eve because uh, I drink a lot of champagne. <laughs> So I am going to use this MAC Pro Longwear Powder in the color Medium Dark and a MAC 120 brush and I am going to pat this uh, powder onto my face. I never go like this when it comes to powder because when you do that, well let's say when I do that, um, it's only going to move my liquid products and I want it to be in place so just pat the powder onto ooh, my face. And to set my contour, I'm going to use a, this one by NARS. Um, it's in a palette and the color is called Casino Bronzing Powder. A little bit on the sides of my nose. Okay, that's about it for the face. Let's go back to the eyes. And I'm just going to keep it simple and use uh, this color right here for my lower lash line. Then I'm going to add a little bit of eye cool and mascara. So I'm looking at this makeup look and it was supposed to be for New Year's Eve. But on December 25, it's my birthday and I'm turning 30. I actually think I'm going to wear this on that day also. Okay, so I'm gonna add a little bit more bronzer, just a tiny amount. Yeah, and of course, more highlighter. Okay, it's time for lips, and I am going to do two lippies, one nude and one very dark one. Um, I gravitate towards dark because I don't know why, but for people who like nude lips, because the eyes are pretty heavy itself, I'm going to use Ashton by Anastasia. This is actually a bit too brown, so I'm going to top it out with Pure Hollywood. And that's it for look number one. Well, actually it's the same look, but with a nude lip. So yeah, this is the look, but then with a fampy look. Uh, to be honest, I like both. Um, I don't know. What do you prefer? Let me know. So yeah, guys, uh, that was the video. I hope you enjoy watching this video. I really like this look, I have to be honest. And I'm so impressed with the Essence pigment sticky thing. I don't even know what it's called, like the liquid metal thing. Um, I think it looks pretty good and I did go out of my comfort zone a little bit because I have glitter in my crease. I never do that and 
maybe I should do that more often because I'm actually liking it. And there is no eyeliner, but yeah, you know. Let's go into 2018 without eyeliner. But anyway, uh, thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe to my channel if you are new here and let me know in the comment down below what you think of this look, if you prefer nude or vampy. And yeah, thank you so much for watching. Um, I am going to upload the video today. That means before Christmas. So I wanna wish you all a very, very Merry Christmas and uh, a Happy New Year if I'm not going to upload a video in between. Um, yeah, thank you so much, be safe and